All right, hey guys. <clears throat> Today I just wanted to show you a, uh, it's kind of like an application, I guess. It actually goes in your preferences, system preferences, and it's called Desktopia. See, right there it is. And what you can do with it is you can make it start at the login, or you can show Desktopia in the menu bar, which is up here, and um, it changes your background. It actually downloads pictures from the internet so I'm pretty sure you'd have Wi-Fi to do that. I think it downloads from the internet. I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, here let's see if it does. And I have it set to change for five seconds. Oh I guess it doesn't. Maybe it already has it on there. So well, that's cool. Anyways um what's the name? Um, it changes the background however much you want. You can do five seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks. You can do whatever you want, any number you want. I do it for five seconds. Let's do it for seven. Anyways, um, so that's the settings. And then you can do the feeds of whatever you want. You can do anything on here. You can click or uh, click off of anything that you don't want. And then you can add your own feed if you want to. Let's see. And now on the updates, you can check for updates, but I don't want to do that right now. Alright. Where is I at? Anyways, Dystopia. I will put a link in the description uh, to your right side so that you can see it. Um, whenever you get it downloaded, you just click on it. And then it'll ask you to, re uh, to install it, which I already have it installed, but I'll click replace. It doesn't really matter. And it just adds this to it. And it'll be right here. And that's all it does right there. See how it changes? And they're really cool images, too. I've seen that one a few times. So. I don't know. That's actually... I actually have that background. That's pretty cool. Anyways, and up here at the menu bar, I have it right here. And you can rate the, the photo that's on there right now. And uh, you can do next background, so just go to the next one. Like, if you don't want that one on there, you can go to previous background so that you can look at it better. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know, it should do that. Anyway, you can pause it to keep it that one background on there. You can go to resume to keep it or to get it to play again. You can do preferences and you can do quit, and it actually tells you who made it. Heroes, it actually gives you the title and who made it. Yeah. So, that's all it does. Um, so, as I said, I'll put a link in the description because this is pretty cool. Like, if you don't have time to sit there and find different backgrounds that you like or you want, then you can just add this on there. And it's pretty cool. I thought maybe it'd be dumb and I wouldn't like the backgrounds that they give me. And I figured out that they, they're pretty neat. Most of them are drawings and stuff, and that's what I'm into, so. And 3DR and that kind of crap. Photography. I guess that is basically what backgrounds are, but that's what you do. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.